Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, Saturday, March 7th, 2020. Last Saturday we went to see Jonah, a play that was actually an adaptation done by the same person who did A Wrinkle in Time. It was really well done. It was it was uh, Springfield Little Theater. This one was actually put on in one of their educational buildings in a very small black box theater that maybe held about 30 people or so. That particular script is very funny. It has, you know, there's birds in it that talk with Jonah. Jonah didn't interact with a lot of people. A worm that talks to him. There's mice that talk to him and a fish inside of the whale and, and that type of thing. Thing. That evening, had a nice family night at home, played more with, with our new coloring books, got some new, oh yeah, we went to Hobby Lobby together. Did, was that this week? I think it was. Anyway, so we, we watched some movies, watched Back to the Future, and Hidden Figures. We watched Hidden Figures because, well, the main character in there, Katherine Johnson, she passed away just recently. Well, we watched it because it's a great movie, but we also watched it because she passed away recently, and it was kind of in honor of her. Sunday, Jill was in Kansas City. She went with a friend up there to Ikea. Ben and I got a lot of time hanging out together, just the two of us. Sunday night we had a big thunderstorm that woke us up in the middle of the night, caused some really weird dreams of the types of dreams you have when a thunderstorm is going on, if you can sleep. Then on Monday we had big news that Zachary is going to be able to graduate from high school a year early. That is a really cool thing. He's in the middle college program. Maybe at some point in here I'll explain what the middle college program is, but not today. It's a very cool program though. Zachary is going to graduate now in eight weeks rather than a year in eight weeks. He's very excited. We're very excited. He gets to go straight into college. He wants to go into engineering. He's very good at math and he enjoys that type of stuff, has an engineering mindset. Tuesday and Wednesday, not a lot happened. Had some friends over on Wednesday night. Throwback Thursday was kind of interesting because a friend of mine posted, he's a, he's a real estate agent, and so he posts a lot of stuff about houses and things. And he posted a, a thing about, post a picture of a house that you used to live in. I went on Street View, on Google Street View, and found a house, a picture of a house that we lived in in Minnesota. It brought back all sorts of memories just looking at that picture. I don't remember the house being that small, but I was 11, almost 12, when we moved away from there back in the 80s. It reminded me that, you know, we had, we had one television in the house, it was a huge color television, huge, 22 inches. It was smaller than this, but we thought it was a huge TV because it was the biggest one we'd ever had. We had one telephone and nothing was cordless. Me and my friends, we rode our bikes everywhere. If you wanted to watch a TV program, you had to catch it when it was on. What do they say on the Goldbergs? It was 1980 something and it was awesome. Friday was yesterday and I was talking with my sister Amanda. She and Josh and the boys are all coming to visit us. They are also in the club of having three sons. It'd be great if I could get them talking about some of their stories of what happens when you have three boys. It's crazy. Somebody said something like, when you have one boy, you have one brain. When you have two boys, you have half a brain. When you have three boys, there's no brains left and the destructive propensity of things goes straight up. That is so true. This week, I've been really thinking about the fact that this vlog is helping me with gratitude. I mean, I'm wearing my shirt here of gratitude is my attitude. I knew that that would happen, but I, I didn't realize how helpful it really is. That being grateful when you are intentionally grateful, when you're intentionally finding things that you really like in your life and focusing on them, it makes your heart happy. I'm enjoying this process. And I'm, I'm looking forward to looking back on it. Of course, there's things going on in, in the world today that are not fun. We're in election year. We are, though, for a fun thing, we're in an Olympic year. Where are they this year? Are they in Japan? I need to look that up. But we're going to have the Summer Olympics this year. That's most likely going to go forward in despite the fact that we're in the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus thing. A lot of people are really scared about that. Are we going to look back on it and think that it was something we should be really scared of? Maybe. I know there's been other epidemics that have come out that have been really bad and others that we look back on and go, that was really not as big a deal as we thought it was at the time. So I, I don't know. Should we wash our hands really well? Yes. Should we worry? Worry doesn't really help anything. We need to, to make the best of, of where we're at. If we really want to be happy through the ups and downs of life. I think gratitude's the key. In, in the video work that I've done, I've talked with a lot of elderly people. The ones that are truly happy are the ones that chose to be. They chose to smile despite the tough stuff. So that's the end of week 10 of 2020. We'll see you next week.